कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 
राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय सो वी आर गोइंग टू रीड ए वर्स फ्रॉम भगवद गीता verse number 17 from chapter number 7 tesham gyani nitya yukta ek bhaktir vishishyate priyo hi gyanino 
प्राप्त्यर्थम् अहम् सच मम प्रियः तेषां ज्ञानि नित्ययुक्ता एक भक्तिर विशिष्यते प्रियो हि ज्ञानि नोर्थ अर्थम् अहम् सच मम प्रिया तेषां ज्ञानि नित्ययुक्ता एक भक्तिर विशिष्यते प्रियो हि ज्ञानि नोर्थम् यर्थम् नोत्यर्थम् अहम् सच मम प्रिया तेषां ज्ञानि नित्ययुक्ता एक भक्तिर विशिष्यते प्रियो हि ज्ञानि नोत्यर्थम् अहम् सच मम प्रिया तेषां ज्ञानि नित्ययुक्ता एक भक्तिर विशिष्यते प्रियो हि ज्ञानि नोत्यर्थम् अहम् सच मम प्रिया प्रोजिस तेषां ज्ञानि नित्ययुक्ता एक भक्तिर विशिष्यते अहम् सच मम प्रिया तेषां ज्ञानि नित्ययुक्ता एक भक्तिर विशिष्यते प्रियो हि ज्ञानि नोत्यर्थम् अहम् सच मम प्रिया तेषां ज्ञानि नित्ययुक्ता एक भक्तिर विशिष्यते प्रियो हि ज्ञानि नोत्यर्थम् अहम् सच मम प्रिया तेषां ज्ञानि नित्ययुक्ता एक भक्तिर विशिष्यते प्रियो हि ज्ञानि नोत्यर्थम् अहम् सच मम प्रिया तेषां out of them ज्ञानि one in full knowledge नित्य युक्ता हा, always engaged, एका, only, भक्ति ही, in devotional service, विशिष्यते, is special, प्रिया हा, very dear, he, certainly, ज्ञानी ना हा, to the person in knowledge. अत्यर्थम् हाईली अहम् आई एम सह ही च आल्सो मामा टू मी प्रिया हा ट्रांसलेशन एंड पेपोर्ट बैशुलो प्रोपा शुलो प्रोपा देखी सो प्रोपा राइट्स द ट्रांसलेशन हियर ऑफ दिस द वन हु इज इन फुल नॉलेज and who is always engaged in pure devotional service is the best. For I am very dear to him, and he is dear to me. Please repeat after me. Of this, of this the one in full knowledge, one in full knowledge and, who and who is always engaged in pure devotional service, is the best. Yes. For I am very dear to him, and he is dear to me. So, Prabhupada by Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Free from all contaminations of material desires, the distressed, the inquisitive, the penniless, and the seeker after supreme knowledge 
can all become pure devotees. But out of them, he who is, who is in full, is in knowledge of the absolute truth and free from all material desires becomes a really pure, pure devotee of the Lord. And of the four orders, the devotee who is in full knowledge and is at the same time engaged in devotional services, the Lord says the best. By searching after knowledge, one realizes that his self is different from his material body, and when further advanced, he becomes he comes to the knowledge of impersonal Brahman and Paramatma. When one is fully purified, he realizes that his constitutional position is to be the eternal servant of Lord. So by association with Pure devotees, the inquisitive, the distressed, the seeker after material amelioration, and the men in knowledge all become themselves pure. But in the preparatory stage, the man who is in full knowledge of the Supreme Lord and is at the same time executing devotional service is very dear to the Lord. He who is situated in pure knowledge of the transcendence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is so protected in devotional service that material contamination cannot touch him. Om Ajnana Timiranda Se Gyana Nunjana Shalaka Chaksuran Miritamena Tasma Shri Guruve Nama He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priya Vancha Kalpataru Vyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhayavacha Patitanam Pavane Bhu Vaishnava Bhu Namanama Jay Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gora Bhaktivrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna everyone So I would like to first uh, uh, just change the little bit of introduction that Prabhuji gave about me. Actually, I am not preaching full time. I am actually trying to <laughs> uh, preach as much as possible, but I am not doing full time uh, preaching now. If I get the mercy of Prabhuji, who is uh, introducing me, and if I get the mercy of other devotees and my Guru Maharaj, then definitely that will be possible one day. <laughs> so, the Bhagavad Gita uh, was written by, who, who wrote the Bhagavad Gita? Hmm? Ved Vyas. It says, Om Parthaya Pratibhoditam Bhagavatam Narayana Om Parthaya Pratibhoditam So, there's a, there's a verse about this Gita. Uh, it says, Parthaya Pratibhoditam. So, Narayanena Swayam. Swayam Narayan or Lord Krishna actually instructed this to who? Arjuna. Parthaya Pratibhoditam. And this is found in, in the middle of Mahabharat. Madhye Mahabharatam. So in the middle of Mahabharat, so in the Mahabharat you'll find uh, this scripture, which we call Bhagavad Gita. And uh, Vyasadeva, when he was, when he had compiled it, compiled the Mahabharat, and in, in the Mahabharat you have this Bhagavad Gita, so he was looking for a writer. And who wrote for Vyasadeva? Hmm? Lord Ganesh, yeah. So he was, he was looking for a writer who could write his compilation, you know. He had compiled it in his mind, but he wanted a very fast writer. So he was told to approach Ganeshji. Ganeshji can write very, very fast and is very intelligent. You know who Lord Ganesha is? Huh? Or you all know Lord, who Lord Ganesha is. So Lord Ganesha was approached by Vyasadeva, and uh, Ganeshji said, I can write for you. But there is a condition. If, if I start writing, I want to keep writing with uh, non-stop. If I stop writing at any stage, and that will be the end of your Mahabharata. 
I'm not going to write any further. So Vyasdeva, of course, is the incarnation of the Lord, empowered incarnation of the Lord. So he said, he's, he's also, uh, he, he's in the know of everything. And he said to Ganesh, okay, you only write after you have understood what I've recited. Without understanding, you don't write a single word. You only understand and then only write. So Vyasdeva started uh, reciting uh, those verses and then Ganesh, you know, in between he would give very, very hard verses to Ganeshji, where Ganeshji had to think. And at that time Vyasdeva could compile more and then that's how Mahabharata was written and that's how Bhagavad Gita was written. So we can see that Ganeshji knows who the Supreme Personality of Godhead is. Because in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna is mentioned as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Everywhere you see Shri Bhagavan Uvacha, Shri Bhagavan Uvacha. So you have got 575 verses spoken by Lord Krishna. So you have got Shri Bhagavan Uvacha. That means Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, said. So, and then, Arjuna also mentions him, him as Lord Krishna himself declares as, as, uh, that, uh, declares as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And uh, Arjuna also mentions that. In the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna says, Param Brahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram, Paramam Bhavan, Purusham Shashvatam Divyam, Adi Devam Ajam Vibhum. Adi Dev, he's the Adi Dev, he's, uh, he's the origin of all the uh, demigods, he's the original personality of Godhead. And he's a, he's a Param Brahma, Param Brahma, Supreme Personality of Godhead. So he's mentioned uh, in the Bhagavad Gita as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He himself mentions, mentions it and he says, Ahustvam Rishya Sarve, Devrishi Narada Sata Asito Devalo Vyasa Swayam Chaiva. Bravisime. Uh, Arjuna is saying that it's not only me saying that you are the supreme personality of Godhead, you are the, the purest and you are the greatest, but uh, the same thing has been said by Austam Rishya Sarve, all the great sages, including Devarshi, Narad, Devarshi, Narad, Vyasdev, all of them have said that Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. And Ganeshji has written that, so which means Ganeshji knows the position of Lord Krishna. Ganeshji knows that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That's why he wrote it. Otherwise he wouldn't have written all those verses. So here we are looking at uh, the seventh chapter of Bhagavad Gita. And uh, I was given this verse today, um, 717. Can we have that on the screen again? Or no. Sorry? I saw right, I saw right. So there are, Lord Krishna says, so Lord Krishna is with Arjuna and they are both in a place known as Kurukshetra. Is the place is known as Kurukshetra. Very important place, Kurukshetra. So it's mentioned that this is the Dharmakshetra. Dharmakshetra, Kurukshetra, Samaveta, Yuyutsavaha, Mamaka, Pandava, Sheva. Kimakurvata Sanjaya. So the place is known as Kurukshetra. And it's a place where all the uh, religious activities were performed. So it's, it's a Dharmakshetra. It's a, it's a Dharmakshetra, a place where religious activities are carried out. So place is very great. The place, the, the place always has its importance. Like we are now in the temple, what are we all doing? We are listening to um, Bhagavad Gita verses, we are listening to um, uh, what Lord Krishna has said. And then we are having a nice darshan of, of uh, Shri Shri Radha Madhavaji and also Shri Nathaji. So we are having a beautiful place here and we, and our mind is on Krishna now because of the place. So there is, there is like so much of um, 
snow in Canada. <laughs> and we also have it sometimes in Dunedin, the place where I live. So Dunedin always has a bit of snowing, not, not too much actually, so maybe once or twice in a year. So when we have snowing and Dunedin is not a, not a flat place, it is a very hilly place. And Dunedin, Eden means um, that, that city was established by uh, the Scottish people. And uh, there's a place in Scotland named Edinburgh. Is that right? Edinburgh. So Dun means a castle on top of a hill. And Eden means Edinburgh. So that's how the name is Dun Eden. And it's a very hilly place. It's a lot of mountains there. And uh, you don't, it's not flat. So it's very hard to drive in Dun Eden when we have snowing. And they, they put a lot of uh, stones on the road. I don't know whether they do it here or not. What do they put? Stones. What do they call that? Hmm? Gravel. They call it gravel. So they call it gravel. There's little small stones. Just so that there is grip on the road. So they put the stones there as well. So let's say even in Canada, because they do that, so let's say instead of putting the stones for the grip, let's say they put the bullets on the road so that there's grip. So will, they, will the bullets on the road create fear in people? Hmm? Will it? No, it won't. Because it's just lying on the street. So it won't. But now let's say from those, you know, billions and trillions of bullets, one is in a gun. <laughs> the effect will be there, you know. <laughs> so, so the place has got in, in, has its influence. So that place is known as Dharmakshetra. So while I was coming, you know, I had a bottle of water. Someone said, you can't take the bottle of water inside, you know, when I'm passing through the secu security, that x-ray, you can't take water inside. Then I said, it's all right. I took the water and I drank it, and they say, it's all right, now you can go. So when the water was outside my body, it couldn't come this way, come, couldn't, couldn't go through the screening. But when, when, when it went into my body, it's all right. <laughs> so the so place has its influence. So Dharmakshetra, the place is Dharmakshetra. Uh, and, and that's why we see that the Uttarashtra was consent. Dhritarashtra is worried because uh, he he's thinks that the place will have its influence on its, his uh, uh, crooked sons, uh, including Duryodhana. And so the place is Kurukshetra, and Lord Krishna is seated on a chariot, and he is the charioteer or the passenger. Hmm? Yeah, he's a chariot driver. He's a chariot driver. He's a driver. He's a driver. He's a sarthi. Sarthi is one who is with the rati. Rati is the passenger. Sarthi is the one who is with the passenger or the driver. And uh, it's said in the Bhagavad Gita, and in the first chapter, is the description of uh, the chariot is given. Does anyone know that verse? Tatha sveterha hai ryuktai mahati shandane sthito madava pandavas chaiva divya shanko pradatmatu. So they are on the chariot and that chariot is driven by white horses. Tatha sveterha hai ryuktai mahati shandane sthito and that Chariot was given to them by who, who gave the chariot? Hmm? That was given by Agni Dev. Agni Dev. The chariot was given by Agni Dev. And Lord Krishna and Arjuna are seated there. And we see that Arjuna is being guided by Krishna because he had accepted uh, Lord Krishna. Arjuna had accepted Lord Krishna as his spiritual master. Sishyas teham sadhimam tvam prapannam. I am your disciple surrendered unto you 
please instruct me. And now he's giving the instructions and he's all, already given so many, spoken so many verses. And this is a verse and we are, we are in the seventh chapter. So before this verse, um, Lord Krishna, Krishna mentions four kinds of pious people who actually uh, begin to perform devotional service. And that verse, does anyone know that verse? Chaturvidha bhajante maam jana sukritono sukritono juna and arth artho jigyasur arthati jnani chabaratar shava. That is the verse. So I think we, a lot of people need to read Bhagavad Gita. So does any does everyone have a copy of the Bhagavad Gita? How many of you don't have it? Please raise your hand if you don't have it. Or please come and take a copy. You have got a choice. You know, whichever language Bhagavad Gita you want, you can take it. Please come and take it so that you can start reading. So please, those people who don't have it, we have the Bhagavad Gita in English. We have Bhagavad Gita in Gujarati. We have got Bhagavad Gita in Punjabi. So in most of the languages we have. So please come and take it. I'll give it two minutes. So come and take a copy of the Bhagavad Gita if you don't have it. Anyone who doesn't have a copy of Bhagavad Gita should take it. Because this is the most important scripture. Take a copy of Bhagavad Gita. You, you'd, like it. you'd like to read English? Okay. Prabhuji, come have, take, take one. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, take take a copy. Anyone else? Yeah. We have it in all the languages. We've got English which language do you want? Hindi, yeah, that should be Hindi. Is it? Yeah, it is Hindi, yeah. It is. Which language, Mataji? Um, I have one, but I don't have one with verses. Oh, you don't have the one with verses. So which, which language do you want? Yeah. So you've got English, you've got Hindi. It's all, it, it's free of charge. Don't hesitate to take one if you don't have one. It's all free. That's that's English, Mataji. Yeah, the verses are all there. Yeah, in both, in all of them, the verses are there. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Take one, and then the only condition is that you have to read. <laughs> that's the only condition. You take it and read it. Probably take one. Yeah. You got Hindi, okay. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Bengali? Do we do we have do we have Bengali yeah. version of the Bhagavad Gita? Yeah. So you there's one there, you can collect it from Prabhuji. Yeah. You want to have one in English? Yeah. Huh? Russian, do we have the Russian ve version of Bhagavad Gita? In, that's English. So Hindi is there, this one, this side. No, this side, the other one. That one is Hindi, yeah. That's English, yeah. Yeah, okay. Do we have Russian? Yeah. Yeah, give to one to Prabhuji. And anyone else? Okay. So now you can start reading. It said, Ekam Shastram Devaki Putra Gitam Eko Devo Devaki Putra Eva Eko Mantras Tasya Namani Yani Karmape Ekam Tasya Devasya Seva So let there be one Shastra, one scripture, Ekam Shastram and that scripture is known as Devaki Putra Gitam 
the Gita spoken by the Gita of Devaki Putra. The Gita of De or the song of Devaki Putra or Bhagavad Gita. Eko Devo Devaki Putra Eva. And let that there be one Devaha, one worshipable Lord, and that is Devaki Putra Eva, the son of Devaki, Lord Krishna. Eko mantras tasya namani yani and one one hymn and that is the maha mantra hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare karma pi ekam tasya devasya seva and then one activity and that activity is serving that lord lord krishna so so there are four different kinds of people who actually um, will begin to serve the Lord. They will accept devotional service. Four kinds. And they are pious people. It says, Chatur Vidha Bhajante Maam Jana Sukritino. Sukritina means those who are pious. And then those, these pious people are mentioned as Artho Jigyasu Rartharti and Gyani. So Artho means, Artaha means those who are distressed. They are distressed. So people are distressed and sometimes they actually go to, to a Krishna temple and then they you know, start having some faith in Lord Krishna and they start worshipping Lord Krishna. They start performing devotional service to Lord Krishna. They are in distress. Sometimes, you know, you see people going to different psychiatrists or psychologists and they try to try to get some counseling from them. And uh, there are so many different kinds of uh, mental uh, problems nowadays. In New Zealand, there is a chat buzz. You know what chat buzz is? Uh, this chat bus for children. That means if children have any mental issues, they can go and get counseling from the you know qualified counselors, and they have to go in a bus. There's a big bus, and they will stop near the school, and they they go and get some counseling. Little children, they, because they have some mental health issues. Now there's so many problems like that. People go to. Some people take medication, some people get counseling. Uh, so I was asking one, uh, one lady, she was saying that I'm, I'm, I'm working as a psychiatrist. And I'm psychiatrist, is that what we call? Psychiatrist, yeah. And said, uh, I, did I, I said, you do, do you not have any problems as a psychiatrist? No, no, she said, no, I, I do have problems. And we have got a group of 30 of us. And then we just help each other. We just help each other. I said, how about other people? They, so all of them have pro other mental problems also. Because we have to deal with those kind of people all the time. And we also actually have that kind of problem. So there is no one who is free from those kind of problems. But here, Krishna is free from all those problems. And he is actually helping Arjuna. Um, to get free from all those problems. And here he says, those distressed people can come to me. And then Jigyasur, Jigyasu means those who are inquisitive. They want to know why this is things are happening in such a way. Why not this way? Why not that way? Why, is it, why does it ha have to happen this way? So they're inquisitive. They want to know. Sometimes they come, come to the temple, oh, what's this? What, what are you doing? So they I ask, you know. And they eventually start performing some devotional service, some seva. And then there is Artharthi who want some earth, some money, some material gain. And then they, they start performing. And then Jnani. Jnani means those who are searching for knowledge of the Absolute. So now here Lord Krishna says, Tesham, out of them. Now if we have to, uh, you know, Take the best out of the four, who is the greatest out of the four. Lord, Lord Krishna himself does it here. Tesham, out of them. Jnani, those who are Jnani Nitya Yukta, that means one who is in uh, full knowledge. Um, nitya Yukta means always 
engaged. They are engaged nitya yukta. So there is a verse in Bhagavad Gita, in chapter 12, this verse is nitya yukta upasate. Because Lord Krishna is asking, uh, Arjuna is asking Lord Krishna, Isham, uh, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's a verse in the 12th chapter, first verse, and who is great, uh, greater worshipper, the, the worshipper of the personal form or the impersonal aspect. And then the second verse, in the second verse, Lord Krishna says, Maya Veshya Manoema Nitya Yukta Upasate Shraddhaya Pareyopeta Stame Yukta Tamamata. So those who uh, worship me, Mai um, Aveshya, uh, Mai means unto me, Mai Aveshya, they fix their mind, Mai Aveshya, Mano Ema, those who fix their mind on me, and they uh, worship me with transcendental faith, they are the greater worshippers. And um, so here, Nitya Yukta, Eka Bhakti Vishishit, Eka Bhakti, only in devotional service. Bhakti means devotional service. Uh, so, Tesham Gyani Nitya Yukta Eka Bhakti Vishishyate. Vishishyate means uh, he's, he's greater, he's special. Vishesh. Vishesh. Priyohi Gyani No Artham. So, Aham. So, they are this, for this Gyani, those people who are seeking to get some knowledge uh, of the Absolute, these people are actually. Uh, I'm very for, uh, for them I am very dear and then and I and then he says aham sacha mama priya and for me also they are very dear so it's a uh, two way relationship here so of this the one who is in full knowledge and who is always engaged in pure devotional service is the best for I am very dear to him and he is uh, dear to me so the main thing here is that, you know, if the Gyanis, those who are seeking knowledge of the Absolute, if they start performing devotional service, um, and other people who are, uh, uh, those people who are distressed and they perform devotional service, maybe after they're free from the distress, they might not be that serious. Or once they are looking for some material gain and they get it, they may not be that serious. But the Gyan is those people who are uh, seeking knowledge of, of the Absolute. And if they actually com, uh, continue to perform devotional service, Lord Krishna says, then they are the best. The Gyan is, you know, who, who continue performing devotional service are the best. And, and uh, actually these people get purified by association. You know, when they keep having devotee association, then they get... Uh, purified. So devotional service, that's uh, uh, very important for all of us. And in this age, Kali Yuga, we can perform devotional service. How can we perform devotional service to Lord Krishna? By? By chanting the holy name of the Lord. That's the best uh, process for this age. Hare Nam, Hare Nam. Hare Nama Eva Kevalam Kalo Nastya Eva Nastya Eva Nastya Gati Ranyatha There is no other way, there is no other way, there is no other way. And the method is chanting the holy name of Lord Krishna. And that name is? The names? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. I think because we do not have that much time, I could speak more on this uh, topic, but I'll, I'll give some time for questions. That's better, I think. Because you may, have, you may have come here for the first time, so I'll give you some time for questions. Yes, any questions? Matajis and Prabhujis? Yes, Prabhuji. Yeah. They are in trouble. Yeah. They are in problem. Yeah. After that, you know, they, everything settled down, they then come. Yeah. Why is that? So they come uh, and 
so they initially come that's what uh, that's why the uh, those people who are seekers of knowledge are considered to be the best because let's say you are trying to find uh, a destination where do i go there then you keep going keep asking and keep asking keep, keep asking until you have reached the destination so those are like ganis they want to they keep trying they the searching for the absolute uh, but those people who who are just uh, um, who just come to the temple and then they are, uh, when their problems have been solved they go so they are actually the devotees who are not in the topmost platform so they are just because they are pious and piety come pro, comes Prabhupada says when one actually gives up gives up the gross sinful activities the four gross sinful what are those four hmm? four gross sinful activities intoxication meat eating gambling eh? illicit sex those are the gross ones and then one the more one is free from those the more pious one becomes because they are those those activities are very sinful Lord Krishna says, when one is isham tantagatampa, one becomes free from those sinful activities, then then one can be very, very serious, very, very determined in, in performing devotional service. So so they do come and they do come and then and then they actually go, yeah. So they are they are in, in one sense they are uh, they are devotees, they are devotees but just uh, not 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 very serious devotees or not pure devotees but if they get the association of the devotees when they come then they stay for longer if they come and then just uh, you know if they maybe come and then go then um, uh, you know they don't actually progress much mostly people worship demigods for that most people worship demigods for some material gain mostly but if, if they are coming to Krishna, actually, they are better. It is better to ask your father for some money than going on the streets and begging. Which is better? Asking from the father. So coming to the Lord's temple and, you know, taking shelter of him is actually better than going outside, you know, and asking other demigods for help. Because these people are not uh, very intelligent. Right? It says, "Ye pyanya devata bhaktya, ye jante shradayan vita tepi mame vakonta, ye jante avidhi purvakam, avidhi purvakam." So they are actually those who worship the other other demigods uh, with some faith. Um, they are actually worshiping me indirectly, Lord Krishna says, but they are doing it in the wrong way. They are not doing it in the correct way. So they are worshiping other demigods for some material gain. So they are at least they are good, you know. They are at least at least they take shelter of Krishna, not others. But uh, if they if want to become serious, then they have to associate with the devotees, get sadhu sangha, and then they can can pro progress more. Yes, Prabhu. Yeah, two schools of thought. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? The, the logic based. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so it's actually the uh, it's it's said in uh, in Mahabharat. Tarko pratishta by tark by false arguments we cannot come to a conclusion. Let's say you know there's a big elephant and many blind people get together, and then they want to know what an elephant looks like. And the blind people are getting together. So one says, you know, the elephant holding the, uh, you know, belly of the elephant says the elephant is like a big wall. And one is saying the elephant is, you know, like a big trunk, you know, like holding the legs. 
The one is saying the elephant looks like a like a snake, you know, holding the what do you call that? Eh? The tail, uh, probably some. What do you call? Eh? Yeah, trunk. Yeah, trunk. The trunk they say is uh, like a snake, and then uh, the the sharp uh, tusks, tusk, eh? and they say oh, like a spear. So, do you think they will get information about the uh, the elephant if they all get together and they have a big conference? Now, after that, they all meet together. Now they say, what does an elephant look like? No. So, tarko apratishta. By false arguments, one cannot come to a conclusion. And then, it said that scriptures, Lord Krishna says, Ya shastra vidhimu srijya vartate kamakarta nasa siddhima vapnoti na sukam na param gatim. One who neglects the injunctions of the scriptures and acts according to his own whims, for them there is no perfection, there is no happiness, and there is no uh, supreme destination, paramgati, for, no, not for them. So there are scriptures, now that all, if so many people are writing scriptures, then how do you know which one is the, the correct one, bona fide? So it says, um, that same verse, Shrutoya vibhinna nasasva rishir matam na bhinnam So there is so many rishis and they have uh, translated the, those, the uh, scriptures or they're talking about the Lord, but everyone has got his own opinion. So now, how do we come to know? How do we come to know? Dharmasya tattvam nihitam guhayam. The real sense of knowledge, uh, the tattva, a tattva of dharma, is hidden in the hearts of the realized souls. And who are those realized souls? Mahajano ena gata sapanta, the Mahajanas. So we have to follow the Mahajanas. So if you say, okay, by Turk, I will come to know God. By logic, I will come to know God. For example, there was a, was a little, in, the, there was in a class, there was a teacher, and saying to a young boy, Raju, can you see the trees outside? Raju says, yes. Can you see the uh, houses outside? Yes, I can see. Can you see the people? You can see the road? Yes, yes. Can you see God, Raju? Teacher is asking the student. And Raju says, no, I can't see the God. So that means the God does not exist. That's master, the teacher's conclusion. And there was a little girl in the class. The little girl said, can I ask uh, Raju some questions? Said, Raju, can you see the trees? Raju said, yes. Can you see the houses? Yes. So can you see uh, the road, you know, the people outside? Yes, yes. Can you see uh, our teacher's brain? <laughs> and then Raju said, no, I can't. That means the teacher has no brain. <laughs> so by that logic, we cannot come to a conclusion. We can, cannot use our logic. See, look at the, look at the high court judge of the, of Canada, maybe someone who's sitting on a, on a, you know, judge's seat, or Supreme Court judge. How many years of education for him to become that, uh, to hold, to get to that position? You know, you have to study for how many years here? Twelve years, maybe twelve years, primary and secondary, how many years? Twelve? Twelve years. Shri Shri Radha Madhav Bhagavan Ki Jai. So we have, uh, we'll, we'll have, we take some more time for questions and answers? Well, I will just finish with that one. So, and then, um, what, what was I speaking about? What did I say? Huh? For the judge. So 12 years and then goes to the, uh, to the uh, law school, studies law another three, four years, and then again goes to, the, uh, to practice and do more and more and how many years of experience and then that person can talk about the law. If you want a good lawyer, you will see how qualified that person is and how experienced that person is. Then you go to a lawyer, that's how you choose. When choosing a lawyer, you do so much research. 
right? You look at his experience, you look, look at, his, his, at his qualification. But when it comes to spirituality, anyone and, and everyone can say anything. And there are so many people who just blindly follow. And to get a law degree, they have read so many thousands of books or be, to become a Supreme Court judge. Read thousands of books, you know, reading, 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 reading. But they haven't written, read one <laughs> scripture, 700 verses of this Bhagavad Gita, and then they will say, there is no God. And the police people are so foolish that they believe them. So how do you know? You, you have to believe, you have to, you have to follow the Acharyas, the Mahajana. And they will have the same opinion about the Lord. And that is why it is said, Shiva Aja Sukha Sanakadik Narad Jemuni Brahma Bichara Bisharad Sabkar Matkhag Nayak Yeha Kariya Rama Pad Pankajanya Shiva is a, is a Mahajana. Aj is Brahma, he is a Mahajana. Suk Sukhdeva Goswami is a Mahajana. Shiva Aja Sukh Sanakadik, those four sons of Brahma, they are Mahajanas. Shiva Aja Sukh Sanakadik Narad, he is a Mahajana. Shiva Jasuk San Kadignar, Jiya Muni Brahma Bishar Bishar, and others who are actually uh, Mahajanas, and their opinion is Sabkarmat Khagnayakiya Kari Rama Pad Pankajanya. And everyone is saying, you know, one should worship the lotus feet of Lord Ram. And Shruti Purana Sabagrantha Kahai Ragupati Bhakti Vinasuknaya. All the scriptures, all the Puranas, all everything, uh, all those uh, uh, so many verses written by the great saints, it says that without this a devotional service of Lord, there cannot be happiness. So we follow them. So Prabhupada used to always mention about these Mahajanas. We have to follow the Mahajanas. Mahajana in a Gatha Sopanta. We follow the Mahajanas. And then there was one person in the lecture, one of his disciples said, Prabhupada, those 12 Mahajanas are there, but you are the 13th Mahajanas, Mahajana. And Prabhupada said, you are the 14th Mahajana. So that means one who follows a Mahajana is as good as a Mahajana. So we are followers of Prabhupada. We don't rely on logic or false arguments or we don't rely on those uh, mental speculators. We believe in all the Mahajanas and whatever Yamaraj has said, whatever Brahma has said about Krishna, you know, uh, Krishna, Ishwara Sarva, uh, Ishwara Parama, Krishna, Satchidananda Vigra, that's Brahma saying. And Brahma saying about Lord, you know, that he's the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Whatever Lord Shiva says, whatever the Kumara says, we believe in them. We don't follow the people who believe in logic. Because with logic, you cannot, you cannot prove the existence of the Lord. And we have to believe on Shabda Praman. And the Sab Praman is there, right? Before you came to Canada, from where? India. From India. I did not know about Canada. Did you? How did you come to know? You heard about. You heard about. So you heard about, about Canada, but you never said that just because I have heard about Canada, I've never seen Canada. Canada does not exist. You heard about Krishna and uh, Canada and you had full faith that there is a country known as Canada. There are so many countries and we, we, we haven't been there. But we know that they exist because we have heard about the country. Similarly, we know that there is a spiritual world existing because it's mentioned in the scriptures. And we, we just... Uh, Follow, follow the scriptures and the scriptures are given to us, the correct interpretation is given to us by the Mahajanas and the followers of the Mahajanas. Yes, Prabhuji. Yeah. If someone whom you love dies, what, can, what is the best thing that you can do for that person? So the best thing that you can do for that person, before he dies or is about to die, you have to chant the holy name of Lord Krishna. You have to chant Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So that at least, you know, that person can have, uh, you know, some, uh, you know, consciousness of Krishna at the time of death. Because whatever one thinks at the time of death, then that's what he becomes. Yam yam vapis maran bhavam tyajyatan te kalevaram tam tam eviti kaunta sadatat bhavavita anta kale chamame vasmaran muktva kalevaram ya prayati samad bhavam yati nastatra samshya. So, like 
there was a king, he was thinking about a deer and he had to become a deer. So we tried to, as, as much as possible, to you know, make his consciousness um, change, you know, at least some, some Krishna consciousness at the time of death. And if you couldn't do that, at least, at least you know, if he has to assume a ghostly body or whatever, of, because of not being a devotee, because when one is not a devotee, then that person is attached too much to the body. So body is still there, but the soul is just hovering because around. Of course, there's some certain time, uh, you know, soul is just moving around. And then at least, uh, you know, hearing the holy name can benefit that, uh, uh, you know, that soul, you know, who, who probably is in a ghostly body because of not uh, being too much attached to the body, you know. So chanting the holy name will be best. Any, anything else? Yes, Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhuji. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, she passed away. Can you come forward, please? Come forward. <coughs> okay. Uh, and I feel that mm. uh, uh, when, what is told death, I feel that her hair passes by. Sorry? Her, her hair. Air. Yeah, yeah. Air. Air. Uh, uh, went to the, went to no, oh, wow, wow. went to air, and uh, when he was cemented, uh, uh, her body turned to ashes. Yeah. Now uh, I was uh, informed. I know, but I now specially want to know about the soul. Soul, her existence now told in soul. Soul, you want to know about the soul. And I want to know what soul is. Where does she lies now? Where? Where she lies now? Where she is now? No. Yeah. You. If if we want to know where she is now, we won't be able to find it. Right? But the thing is, you can. Um, you, if 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 the son, who, who, you are the son, it said, in um, in the Bhagavatam that if the son becomes a devotee, then the son will be able to deliver how many generations? Hmm? Ekis pidi. Ekis means? 21 generations will be, will be delivered. That's what uh, Lord Narsingh they have said to Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj, Maharaj was concerned about the deliverance of his father. And then Lord said, if, person, if one person like you, you know, become, if, if, you, if there's a one person, a devotee like you in, in, a, in a family, then the 21 generations are delivered. So forget about your father, your mother, or your grandfather, you know. So they'll all be delivered. So what we should do is, at least we should become a devotee. Become a devotee. And then you will be deliver so many generations. Not only your family members, you will be able to deliver others like the devotees of here. They're you know, talking so much about the Lord. You know, they do so much preaching and they're able to deliver so much. Look at one person, Prabhupada. He had delivered so many and still there are so many who are getting delivered. By just one person, Prabhupada. One person. So just become a devotee. And everything will be fine. <coughs> what form? There are actually, there are actually 8.4 million different forms. Jalaja, even only in, in the in the water, Jalaja and Navalakshani, 900 uh, thousand only in the water. <laughs> And there are 400,000 different kinds of humans 
मनुष्य सो इट वॉन्ट बी पॉसिबल फॉर यू टू नो इन वट फॉर्म दट पर्सन इज बट डेफिनेटली द सोल कैन नॉट बी किल नैनम चिंदंती शस्त्रा नैनम दहती पावका न चैनम क्लेदियंती आपो न सोश्यति मारुता इट कैन नॉट बी डिस्ट्रॉयड बाय फायर और वोटर और एनी थिंग और एनी वेपन्स सो द सोल शी इज एग्जिस्टिंग समवेयर और शी मस्ट हैव बीन शी एट दैट टाइम इट कुड बी ही नाउ so so it may not be a lady now it could be a could have been taken another body could have taken a human body or could have could have taken an animal body because it is said that if one does not perform devotional service like aha nidra bhay maitunam cha samanya metat pasubhir narana dharmo hi eko adhiko vishesha dharmena hina pasubhi samana so there are eating sleeping mating and defending these are four common things in humans and animals the only the, the different difference between a human and animal is the humans can know about dharma and the param dharma devotional service they can know if they don't know dharma then they are as good as animals so if you die in that consciousness in that animal consciousness attached being too much attached to the body and not god conscious then you have to be given a animal body because if you uh, abuse the human body you you are you having a human body but you are acting like an animal then you should don't deserve to get a human body then you get a body in the animal species so you actually don't know i don't know only lord knows because he knows everything so there's no point in trying to do research and trying to find out where she has gone which body she has taken you can actually try to become a devotee and try to you know chant for her you know try try to do uh, bhagavat katha for for her you know but the thing is she may have taken another body she may have gone into another family you know animal family or you know human family so there's no point in trying to investigate that this is just waste of time hari krishna, hare krishna. <laughs> one or two more questions she could chant the, then you should not worry about her then at all <laughs> then there is no no need to investigate if someone is chanting of uh, hari krishna at the time of death forget about that person <laughs> you just think about yourself <laughs> whether you will be able to chant or not <laughs> mata ji no i think do it. we have i've probably taken too much time eh? yeah sorry about that hare krishna yeah thank you very much hare krishna mm-hmm.